God bless you, family. King Jesus bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope today is going fantastic. So, most people will take the mark of the beast. Lowly man for Christ, how could you say that? Well, <laughs> I'm going to point out from Scripture uh, why this is so. And before I get into that, Kim and I, last night, were at our life group. And we're praying for... Uh, Kim's daughter Alexandra and her husband Preston have been expecting a baby, a baby girl, and she's passed due. So we prayed last night. Um, I spoke up and I said, "Yeah, for prayer intentions, uh, we pray that um, Alexandra and Preston that this baby come in, in God's perfect timing." Although you know she's late, and I have great news to report. As of this morning, in the 1 a.m. hour, a uh, little grandbaby was born healthy and wonderful so prayer is so powerful and uh, I am so blessed my family is so blessed and uh, never underestimate the power of prayer a lot of times you know it almost seems cliche when someone says I'll pray for you <clears throat> but uh, those prayers are powerful and if uh, you ever have the opportunity to pray with somebody pray right then and there with them uh, you know a lot of times we say we'll do that and then we part but say can I pray for you right now and then put a hand on their shoulder and, and get into it you know uh, prayer is so powerful, so just wanted to share that awesome praise report. Um, praise the Lord. The Lord is, is so good to us. All right, so most people will take the mark of the beast. So what made me consider this, um, and it's based on a headline that I just saw today that I want to speak on. But we know from Scripture that uh, there is a broad path that leads to perdition. Uh, we know there is a narrow path that leads to salvation on Christ Jesus, and few uh, are those who find it. <clears throat> so we are encouraged to strive on the uh, narrow path. So therefore, we know just from, from God's word that, that many are going to choose contrary to, to King Jesus, and, um, and the minority will have that flip, that switch flipped, and be... Uh, be transformed and born again. All right, so I I say that in terms of why most people will choose the mark of the beast. But furthermore, from end time headlines, J.P. Morgan and Mastercard on board with pain with your face. So with your face, the mark of the beast. So when we think, and, and gosh, I love Bible prophecy because nothing is a uh, nothing is like oh wow, what are they doing here? I wonder why they're doing that. I wonder if this could be that. It's it's just so clear. <laughs> oh, man, I love Bible prophecy. This is so great. Okay, um, yeah, right here. So, of course, in Revelation 13, we see that, of course, uh, regarding the mark of the beast, that, verse 16, also it causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or on the forehead, so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark of of the beast um, unless he has that mark that is the name of the beast or the number of its name okay so from end time headlines we read about uh, you can pay with your face so automated fast food restaurant Cali Express in Pasadena California uh, they've got like robot burger makers I guess so it's kind of high tech and stuff now they have uh, launched with another less heralded innovation the ability to pay for your meal with your face. Now I read you can't buy or sell in the tribulation without your your right hand or your forehead. Now when I think of like a facial scan, like what what the apostle John was seeing in the Revelation, that was given to him unto King Jesus, the book of Revelation. Um, so he was seeing that that they were transacting, buying and selling, with the right hand and with the forehead. Now if they're doing a facial scan and if there's any type of digital light that's on them. I mean, that could present on the forehead, you know, this, this type of pain with your face. Okay. Cali Express uses a payment system from Facial ID Tech Company, Pop ID. Uh, to activate it, you take a selfie, you register, then they can opt to be recognized, and then Pop ID's facial verification confirms the transaction. Oh my gosh. So. I see that and you know we're being conditioned gradually cash credit card chip in the card uh, you know chip soon in in the hand in 
into biometrics. Uh, the face scan that I just read about. Can't buy or sell without it. See, we live in an era where we are so impatient. Uh, instant gratification. Uh, Wi-Fi, internet is slow here. We're so used to quickness. Whereas we think a decade or so ago, things were slower and we were accustomed to it. Um, so it's a conditioning period over time. Man, technology can do a lot, but how great it would be with none of it. So we, we, we wouldn't have got to this point. But all things, you know, we're destined. The Lord is sovereign. It's, it's how it's meant to go. And just the fact also that <clears throat> talking about like J.P. Morgan was one of the... Um, let me jump right back here. J.P. Morgan and who? And MasterCard. J.P. Morgan, large bank. We know there's going to be a financial turmoil. The financial system will end and it will go to something more like paying with your right hand and forehead. Um, a universal basic income, UBI. It's going to be like communism on steroids, right? The middle class will be obliterated during the tribulation. Uh, we're, seeing, we're seeing the setup and the beginnings of that now. But with uh, J.P. Morgan, we're going to see more and more smaller regional banks destroyed. Um, insolvent, their the liquidity is going to be dried up, um, and then those larger banks like J.P. Morgan will absorb them, buy them. So when they acquire these new new banks, and there's been banks failing for some time, it makes me think, wow, they've gotten more revenue by the purchase, you know, of these banks. So now they can they can they can push ahead and, and, and do such things as this uh, kind of technology. Okay, and then of course there's Amazon One, which is where you can pay with the palm of your hand. And that's so interesting. There we go, Book of Revelation again. You can't buy or sell without the right hand or the forehead. And I did a quick look on Amazon One website talking about it, and they said each palm of your hand is unique. And you literally place it over the scanner thing, and it can pick you up and pay, and you can pay. And just the name, Amazon One, there's going to be that one world leader, one world system, one world of worship, worship the Antichrist. He's going to demand worship three and a half years into the tribulation. So Bible prophecy, again, even their name, Amazon One, are you kidding me? This is like a bad movie. This is so obvious. I love Bible prophecy because I feel like I'm transcended, like I'm, I just I tap into the power of the one true God who's given me insight by his word by his knowledge by his wisdom man we got power guys i hope you feel that okay i wanted to read um a few scriptures on so talking about like i mentioned the instant gratification culture we're in um and i wanted to speak about just a few scriptures that talk about the, the biblical um principles and importance for patience and waiting on the lord right so as many are on that broad way to perdition, like I mentioned, they're on that conveyor belt to slaughter. We are not. We're on a narrow path. That can be very hard at times. But the Bible can teach us how to be uh, patient and waiting on the Lord instead of racing into a bad situation. Um, you think of King um, Saul, the first king of Israel. He was impatient. You know, He had a little bit more time to let Samuel return, uh, like Samuel said, but he did that uh, high priestly sacrifice. He shouldn't have done that. He said, oh, I'm sorry. You said you'd be here. It was getting late and the people and we need to wait on the Lord. We need to be patient. Abraham and Sarah, the Lord promised them, I will give you a child. Oh, hey, I'm almost 100. She's 10 years younger. What? And, uh, you know, Sarah was unwise and said, hey, Abraham, here's Hagar. You get with her. And they got Ishmael. And Ishmael, wild ass of a man, his hand against everyone, everyone's hand against him. The Muslims, Arabs, today, they're at war with everybody, invading Europe, uh, America, right? Um, be patient, wait on the Lord. What was it, nine or ten years later, or whatever it was, um, Isaac came of the promise, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? You need to be patient, wait on the Lord. Psalm twenty-seven, fourteen: wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Wow, twice in a sentence. Let's wait for the Lord. Let's not rush into things. Isaiah 40, 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. Yeah, don't we need that? My strength has been weak. I need to be renewed, so let me wait. Let me continue to take action. But in certain things where it's unclear, 
Uh, let me get those repetitions in faith building and trust on the Lord and wait. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So at the right time, you know, the Lord's going to give us the answer. We'll fly like an eagle where all the waiting, where we're thinking we're losing ground and time. Boom. Now we're like an eagle. We make all that up. We're like, wow, I, I thought I was going to be dead last. And now I'm first by a ton because uh, I waited on the Lord. Lamentations 325. The Lord is good to those who wait for him to the soul who seeks him. Yeah, we don't just wait doing nothing. We wait and we continue seeking him. Be in the word, be in prayer, integrate fasting, be a blessing unto others, gather with the brethren. Oh, there's so many more. I'll do uh, one more, Psalm 135 to six. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning. More than watchmen for the morning. Psalm 135 to 6. So, guys, great. There's great biblical uh, principles here to follow. These are wonderful. All right. Um, also, wanted to thank you guys. Just been winding it down here. Uh, more excellent rapture stories you guys have been leaving in the comments from my last two videos on uh, the rapture dream the Lord impressed upon me a few days ago and my follow up video to that. Thank you guys. Um, one of you had mentioned like it was uh, you had the same almost language in your dream where it was like it's time or it's now just like mine was where I said it's now um, and another and, and the same one who shared was talking about you felt like this vaporizing like you were turned into pickle pixels like just being taken being removed and another comment you mentioned uh, like there's like this quick blast up being taken and these were several dreams you had had over some time I love it. I love it. I picture these things visually and I'm like, wow, we have that same Holy Spirit, like a tuning fork hit and we're, we're picking up on similar promptings of the spirit where knowledge will increase in the last days. The wise will not understand, but the wise will understand. Another one of you in the comments mentioned that scripture, which I forgot about that one as well, talking about could we zero in more on the, the time of our departure, our day of the Lord, meeting the Lord. And also, too, uh, there's been some trolls in the comments as well, uh, talking some kind of foolishness at times and just kind of being disrespectful. King Jesus bless you guys, too. You know, may he beckon you and draw you in and uh, trip you up on any, on any um, you know, stuff that you're trying to do that, that may be um, divisive or wicked and just show you his truth and his love and just the spirit of these things that I'm talking about and that we're talking about uh, in the comments about a pre-tribulation rapture, about it is near um, about such things, even how the Lord will show us things in our dreams about how that rapture catching away could look. These are all beautiful things. Nothing is wrong about any of this, but I do pray that the Lord draw you in closer and uh, expose deceptions of the devil and reveal Christ Jesus himself and only to you uh, fully in Jesus' name. All right, guys, um, I wanted to, you know, this uh, President Raisi of Iran uh, allegedly being killed in a in a helicopter. <clears throat> I really smell a rat with that. I'm going to do a little more digging on that and probably have a video sooner than later on that, but um, just wanted to mention that. A lot of things seem very strange with that. All right, Psalm 1, 1 to 3, guys, as we uh, close out here talking about, uh, again, just waiting on the Lord, being patient. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. So we see within here about that, that patience piece we're talking about. Uh, on the law he meditates day and night. He's not saying in an instant. Um, it, it, it's a lifestyle. It's a progression of time, day and night. Yeah, let's be in the Word, meditating on the law day and night, all day. Eyes fixed on Jesus, our heart and mind fixed on Jesus, not on the waves and the water, splashing while we walk on water, do miraculous things by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> um, right? Being patient and talking about in um, it yields its fruit in its season. So there's that notion again of just time, patience, waiting on the Lord. 
I know it's hard. We live in uh, 2024 and things are just way too quick than, than we'd even like. But I do hope that word encourages you and just helps you, give you that peace that surpasses all understanding to slow it down. Even in the uncertainty and the unknowing, take a deep breath, control what you can control and that which you can't control. There's a great repetition opportunity to be like, all right, Lord, I have no idea. This is freaky. I don't like it, but I'm not going to go by what I see or what I feel, but I'm going to go by your word. And I've just given you several examples from God's word that I pray will help you moving forward. So thanks for watching my video, guys. I appreciate it. Please do quick hit the thumbs up and consider sharing my video. I'll see you next time. God bless you.